Namaskar all. I am Dr. Sudip Mandal, working as Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, State Kesimon Purwal College Company. I am here to deliver my deliver my <coughs> deliver my seminar on in ancient Indian metallurgy. I am one of the participant of online refresher course in Indian knowledge system conducted by uh, UGC Malviya Mission Teachers Training Center, Dr. Babasai Ambedkar Marthara University. My role number is 31. During the online refresher course, I came into contact with so many resource person and from them I came to know about one book. The name of the book is A History of Hindu Chemistry written by Professor Prafulla Chandra Ray. And from that book, after reading that book, I, I came in to know, I came to know about the many great discoveries in ancient India. And uh, from that book and from some online literature available in rabbit manuscript sites, I prepared my seminar on ancient in Indian metallurgy. And specifically in this seminar, I will be focusing on gold and its chemistry, how the gold is used in ancient Indian ages, and how the gold is extracted or pure gold is prepared from different sources that we will see during this seminar presentation. In Vedic time, gold is also termed as Hiranya. According to the uh, uh, metallurgical insights of uh, Athar Veda, main and metals have age-old relationship. Different period of early human civilization have been named after metals. The influence of gold can also be seen in different ancient literatures. In ancient times, Gold is also referred as Hiranya. Hiranya is a Sanskrit word and uh, that uh, the Sanskrit word Hiranya is used to mention gold. It has also mentioned that gold is used to make several products such as vessels, necklace and sometimes it is also used to decorate the chariots of the kings. The attribution of gold influenced the mind and heart of Indians so much that they referred it the gold as a supreme spirit and designation and the gold is also termed as Hiranyagarbya according to Rigby. About the sources of gold, Rigby mention that the river Sindhu contains gold. The word Hiranyai was used for the river. Another Rigved states that the path of the river Sindhu contains gold and the word used as Hiranyarvich. It is interesting to note that Hyena translated this word as Hiranya Maya Voka Hiranya Maya Voka Luya. That is, the both banks of contain golds. And not only that uh, Sindhu River, the, it is also mentioned that gold obtained from River Jambu, also called as Jambu. Nanda and that from river Ganga is called as Gangya. These are alluvial uh, placer gold and in Mahabharata also it is referred as Piplika gold. Sometimes the native gold is prepared and it is invariably by no means a pure metal. It contains up to 20% silver copper, iron, bismuth, platinum, groups of metal and other metals as impurities. Thus, native gold would have different colors 
depending upon the nature and amount of impurities present. It is logical to assume that the different color of native golds were a major deriving force for the development of gold uh, refining process. Although evidence of gold refining is available in Vedas and uh, Vedas and in Vedic text as allegory form, it is the Arthasastra of Kautilya which represents it in detail. Uh, lastly, in my presentation, I will be focusing about the refining of gold, how the gold is extracted from uh, the, by different processes in ancient ages. Uh, that we will see in this uh, last uh, uh, portion of my uh, seminar. So, gold refining uh, was a two stage uh, process. The first stage was the melting of pure gold along with lead, which is removed base metal impurities but not noble metal like silver. The second stage was to heat the impure gold seeds with the soil of Sindhu state which contained salt. The sodium chloride present in the soil reacted with silver and the resulting silver chloride absorbed in the surrounding soil. This was a solid state process which involved diffusion of silver in impure gold and thus subsequent formation of silver chloride and gold soil interface can be obtained. So this is uh, one of the solid phase uh, preparation or solid phase separation process of gold and uh, where silver is also used and the metal salt that we are getting from the Sindhu soil. So this is one of the uh, finest way to, uh, to uh, <coughs> showcase the green method of metal extraction. Thank you all for uh, patience and uh, listening. This is my seminar presentation for the online literature course and uh, the reference I have taken uh, that I have already, already mentioned in my first slide. The name of the book is The History of Hindu Chemistry written by uh, A.P.C. Ray.